So I um, was excited about this movie because I love classic Amblin 80s films. And this feels to me kind of like a throwback to that. Um, and I was really excited about the um, monster in the film. The monster design, I think, is really cool. And then I just think Jacob, uh, the writer-director, is so incredibly talented and he's going to have a, a really big career. So I wanted to be in Jacob Chase's first movie. That's, well, that left I have a great follow-up question to that then. So what was it like working with him? Um, I think Jacob is one of the m most self-assured, smartest, um, but also really collaborative directors that I've ever worked with. So it was so uh, gratifying to walk onto a set where you really see a, that this director has created an entire world. He thought everything through so thoroughly, but was still so open to us as actors. Um, and I would love just discovering all the little details um that he had created that were part of the sets and the worlds and um so it was really just a it was a pleasure what was it like when you were on set do you have any like favorite memories or a specific day that you'd like to share with us well i also just um i don't know what this says about me but the puppet would genuinely scare me <laughs> and i remember there was one time where i um the put the puppet reaches out and touches me and they had put these really jagged fake um, fingernails on it and it actually scratched me <laughs> while we were doing the scene and so it was truly disturbing like I, I, I don't feel like I had to do a lot of acting for my responses to Larry. <laughs> so when you read the script was that what was like your initial reaction when you read the script? Um, I thought that it was, it felt original, um, but also, like I said, it felt like a throwback to 80s Amblin movies that I really loved. And um, I thought, if I'm kind of missing those types of movies, I bet other people are as well. Um, so it, 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 for me, it really delivered on all of those levels. And did you have any special preparation? Like, did you do any special kind of rituals or things to get into the character? You know, I just loved um, hanging out with Eji and getting to know him. Um, that was also one of my favorite parts of working on this. And um, it, it's really fun uh, the way you see a whole crew respond to having a kid um, who's starring in a movie. And so we started having like Nerf gun battles at lunch um, I don't know if that helped get me into character, but it certainly made the day more fun. Um, and they built a whole haunted house for him, I think on the grip truck for Halloween and the wardrobe department was secretly making him a costume for a character that he really loves and presented him with that on Halloween. And so it really just did feel like having Eji there brought out the best in all of us um, cast and crew. And what was it like working or filming the scenes with Larry? I found Larry genuinely scary. Um, yeah, the, the, the screams of terror were real <laughs> on my part. Um, and somehow, even though there were puppeteers there and obviously it's a, it's a puppet, it really is powerful. And they're so talented at bringing Larry the puppet to life that when you're in a scene, you somehow can sort of ignore the puppeteers. You can, your brain can forget the fact that it's not real. And it, and I found it to be genuinely scary. And do you feel like your character in what ways really evolved from start to finish? Oh, well, the, all the characters in this film are on a real journey. Um, and um, I don't want to give away too much but my character does have quite an arc. That's great. Um, well, that's all the questions that I have for you today. So please cut.